Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here. I want to start off by saying thank you so much for 1,300 subscribers. It's, it's gone quick. So thankful for each and every one of you. So, today's video I'm going to be filming an ultimate bronzy golden makeup look and I'm just gonna get straight onto the video I like to keep my intro short because you guys didn't click on my video to watch me talking for like five minutes so I've already got my brows done here and I've carved my eyebrows out and use this Maybelline New York eye razor concealer for my eyeshadow base now I've got a couple of palettes and eyeshadows here that I'm gonna use today I don't really know what I'm gonna go for yet so I'm just gonna kind of mix around with my Violet Voss Holy Grail and my Colourpop eyeshadow palette. Okay, I'm going to start off with a transition shade. I'm going to take the shade Transition from my Violet Voss Holy Grail palette and I'm just going to put this through my entire crease. Kind of feeling a halo eye so I might concentrate the colour on my inner corner and outer corner. bringing that colour up fairly high towards my brow bone so everything is just going to blend seamlessly together. To intensify the outer and inner corners I'm going to take the shade Are You Kidding Me mixed with a bit of Bestie and this is just going to darken up those areas before we go in with other shades. And again I'm bringing these colours up fairly high. Now I'm going to take this shade extracurricular from this Colourpop palette. This Colourpop palette, I don't know how to say the name so I'm not even going to embarrass myself. Take this shade on a bit of a denser brush and I'm going to pack it into the outer corner and also the inner corner. Now I'm going to go back into my Violet Voss palette. I might come back to this later because it has some really pretty shimmer shades. I'm just doing this to build up some more colour and intensity on the outer and inner corner. So I'm going to take the shade Hashtag, mix with a bit of brownie points so it's not like bright orange. And again, I'm just going to pack this into the outer and inner corner. And I want to intensify my corners a bit more so I'm going to take the shade Teddy Bear. I'm going to put this a bit closer to the lash line and I'm going to blend it in a second. Now on a fluffy brush I'm just going to go back into the shade Are You Kidding Me and I'm just going to blend everything in. Now I'm just going to blend this out using windscreen wiper motions. A good trick to do a smoky, not smoky, a bronzed makeup is to use an actual bronzer or a contour shade to use as an eyeshadow. So I'm going to take the Estaderm Paris Sunsheen Tinted Powder. I'm just going to put a bit of this on my brush and I'm going to use it to blend all the shades together and go through my crease. Now I'm just going to cut my crease using the Maybelline New York Eye Eraser Concealer, the same I used for my brows and to prime my lid. And I'm going to use a flat brush to do this and I've seen this trick going on the internet and I've been doing it a bit myself. And you basically put it on your lid and then you look up and then you've got like a template to follow. When it comes to the edges, I just use my finger to gently blend away the concealer. When I take my denser eyeshadow brush that still has some eyeshadow on it, I just gently press that around the edges. For my lid shade, I'm going to take the shade Toffee from my Violet Voss palette and I'm taking this on a small brush. This is a very 
boiled pigmented shade. I'm just gonna put this So I'm gonna do the same on the other eye. I'm just patting it in so I can get as much pigment as I can. Now that's super pigmented. That has to be like one of my favorite shades from this palette. I'm just gonna blend the edges of this again. To define the crease line, I'm gonna use my, cannot do a makeup tutorial without <laughs> my collection glam crystals dazzling gel liner and this is in the shade bunk and this is a gold one i'm just gonna put this on the crease line to make it a bit more a bit more bronzy i'm gonna take the shade draft from my color pop palette these are again Really foiled eyeshadow, super pigmented. I'm just gonna apply these over the gold. To highlight my inner corner, I have this Rimmel London Scandalous Eyes Add Eyeshadow Stick Crayon. This is in the shade Bulletproof Beige and it's a gold shimmery nude. I'm just gonna put this in my inner corners. And then I'm gonna blend it out just with my fingertip. Now I'm gonna do a wing with my Rimmel London Glam Eyes Professional Liquid Liner. This I've said before is like one of my favorite eyeliners because it has a very thin tip and you can be very precise with it. And I'm gonna apply some lashes and then I'll be right back. Just quickly before I apply lashes I'm gonna take my gold liquid liner again and I'm just gonna put this underneath my eyeliner just to add a bit more detail. Okay now I'm gonna apply my lashes. Now moving on to face makeup I'm gonna take my Rimmel London Match Perfect foundation in the shade I think I'm in I'm in ivory and I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna dot this on my head and my cheeks. Once I have it dotted on, I'm gonna take a stippling brush and this one's from Primark and I'm gonna just blend it out. Now, this foundation is really dewy and it makes your skin have that like really healthy glow so I thought this would be a good option to use for a bronzed makeup look. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and I'm just gonna use this to blend in my foundation and I find using a sponge is gonna give it that more like extra glowy look as they're like damp. For concealer again I'm going to take the same concealer and this is quite a luminous glowy concealer as well. I'm going to put this under my eyes and down my nose on my forehead and on my chin and any other areas where I'd want a bit more coverage as well. I'm just going to blend this in again using my damp beauty sponge. Now as this is a glowy makeup look, I'm just going to take my Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder on a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to brush this all over my face but not like that excessively as I still want it to be quite glowy so I'm just going to pile it in, focusing on areas where I need some more powder. To contour, I'm going to take my Estaderm Sunsheen Tinted Powder again and I'm going to take this on an angled brush. To 
to bronze it up a bit more, I'm going to take my Michael Kors Glam Bronzer and I'm hip pan. This is like super shimmery. It's got like little flecks of glitter and stuff in it. So this is going to make me look like twice as bronzed. Now I'm looking all bronzed up, it's time for highlighter and I got this on my way back from my holiday, I got it in duty free and this is the beaming blush highlight from MAC that won't come out, <gasps> it fell on my car, are you okay, she's literally been sat on my knee through this whole video, she's fine, she's purring. Anyway, I got this highlight from MAC and this is in the shade Beaming Blush. I haven't really tried this yet on my face, I have swatched it, I'm just going to swatch it now. Oh. I'm going to apply this with my Philosophy Blending Brush, which I use for highlight all the time. I'm obsessed and I've used it once. Put some on my cupid's bow and on the tip of my nose. I forgot to highlight my brow bone so I'm just gonna go back in with that pencil on my brow bone. For my lips today I also got this new MAC lips lipstick in the shade Cherish with my highlighter and this is what it looks like. It's more of a peachy peachy nude rather than the pinky nude that I usually go for. I don't have a lip liner that matches this so I'm just gonna have to go straight in. Because this is a satin finish I don't really have to apply a gloss so it just goes with the look and it's just like a nice calm nude on the lips while my eyes are like really shiny and dramatic so this is the finished look here i went for a really blinding highlight um really bronze cheeks and a nude lip I've gone for quite dramatic eyes but obviously you don't have to add the lashes and the liner you can turn it down like a thousand or you can turn it up like a thousand and that is the end of the video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the big thumbs up button if you enjoyed it also turn on the notification bell so you're notified every single time i upload and also could you guys leave what you want to see next down in the comments so because obviously i want to be producing content that my viewers want to see so it would help again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all really soon in my next video bye